Hey folks, shout out to a couple of YouTube channels. I want you to check out my neighbor, HVAC Bill. He's one of those guys that's making America great again. I'm talking about somebody comes over to your house and helps you with your heating and air conditioning uh, after a long day of work. Check him out. Awesome dude. Does videos on uh, troubleshooting your air conditioning and heating. Also, uh, he does uh, motocross stuff, so check him out. Tenth Amendment Center. Is one of those channels that's uh, helping us understand the Founding Fathers' intent and how to deal with this increasing, not Chinese virus, but Chinese-style government that is coming to our country and restricting our freedom. All right, guys, got a six-inch steel plate there from a uh, driving position. Oops. All right, practicing that draw from the vehicle as quickly as we can. All right, using a 686 plus right now. Thirty-eight special plus P out of this sucker. that reload out of our pocket. Oh. All right, guys, doing some unique training right now with a weapon that uh, I carry every day. This is a great gun, 686 plus. Hey, Rocky. Hey, buddy got to have a shock collar on because he wants to go around to other people's property and say hello yeah and then he got threatened that he was going to get shot uh-huh we had to educate people and it's a felony to do that yeah but we'll try and keep him around a little bit better he just likes to say hello to people he ain't gonna hurt nobody he ain't gonna hurt nobody yeah he's a good doggy Yep, there ain't nobody shooting my dog. I don't give a shit. You want to see some uh, some PTSD on steroids? Threatening to shoot my dog. I didn't take that as a serious threat from my neighbor, though. I'll tell you that. Probably couldn't hit broadside of a barn anyway. All right, guys, that's what we've been shooting at. It's a small six-inch steel plate. Yeah. They're coming. All right, it's almost supper time. We don't have a lot of time out here. And here's the other thing, guys. We need to save our ball and powder during emergencies. We got to remember what George Washington said to his troops back in the early days of 1776 in, in the uh, Continental Army up in Boston when he took command, is that he threatened to flog any one of his troops caught target shooting. So we're, we're in a state of emergency. We're states of war. We should absolutely, absolutely be saving our ball and powder so we're not doing a lot of shooting right now all right practicing from concealment how quickly can we get that first shot on target here we go 686 all right we're looking for speed on the first shot 6 inch steel target sticky holster stop Okay. Okay, two more. All right, one more, hold on. Hey, super quick video tonight. It's supper time. Got to head back. Uh, folks, I might be doing more homesteading videos coming up <clears throat> um, to teach you all some skill sets to uh, live off the land. Uh, but I think if you are going to train, dry fire is the word of the day. But if you have time and you've got a little bit of ammunition, get out there with that gun you carry most of the time. For, for most of us, it's a handgun. 
okay? Something you carry concealed or open carry. There's some drills that I think are very important. Uh, we'll do some more videos, hopefully, uh, but not a lot of shooting. So if you got requests, let me know. Thanks, folks. Yeah, guys, real quick again before I head out, I've got to stress to everybody how important it is that we understand that the threat here in our country is not the Chinese style virus, but again, the Chinese style government that's come to our country and threatening our rights. Um, we talk about our First Amendment right to assemble, our First Amendment freedom of speech, freedom to worship. I couldn't even go to mass on Sunday when it's Easter Sunday. Um, Second Amendment, due process, all these liberties, these natural rights we have in the Constitution are, in fact, uh, suspended because of, a, of an emergency. That has never, ever, ever been uh, uh, the, the, the case, ever, okay? And it doesn't say in the Constitution we have a First Amendment except in an emergency. So that's why I encourage you guys, check out that Tenth Amendment Center uh, YouTube channel, um, check out alternative news sources and read your constitution and we need to defend these liberties uh, I took an oath I took an oath to defend it and that's a lifetime oath and I hope that those of you out there that did as well understand that it's a lifetime oath as well for our natural rights alright guys we'll see you a little later